Hello, my name is Szymon Kwas and in this presentation I would like to uh, show recent improvements in JS Dialogs uh, since the last conference. Uh, and for those who doesn't know what the JS Dialog is, uh, it's some kind of a framework for sharing UI components between LibreOffice and Collabora Online. Uh, the idea behind is very simple. We take some component like dialog and we describe the structure of a widget uh, using the JSON notation, uh, which we send to the client, to the browser, where we build native uh, user interface from that. Uh, and we also send the events after the user's interaction to the server to, to get the correct results. Uh, we can build, thanks to that, different uh, UI variants. For example, on mobile device, we can present differently the, the same component, like sidebar on mobile devices we show as a uh, touch device friendly uh, wizard. Uh, like I said, we use that for different components, for dialogues, sidebar, notebook bar, or different pop-ups or drop-downs in, in Calc. But recently we added support for Navigator and Formula. Uh, previously in Collabora Online, Formula Bar was tunneled, what, what means that we render the, the widget on a canvas, then we send the pixels to the, to the browser. Uh, it wasn't very good because if someone uses high DPI screen uh, or different settings, uh, the text was blurry, also the accessibility <laughs> is, is not great, and uh, also user experience because we just click on, uh, on the picture. Uh, thanks to conversion to JS Dialogs, we, we send the, the actual content of the formula bar so we can build native uh, widgets on, on the browser side so user, user has a better experience with interacting with that, typing, selecting, uh, things like that. Mm. Other new component enabled for JS Dialogs is Navigator, which is very useful for, for large documents. It is, uh, it is sent as a, uh, exactly like Sidebar was in the past. Uh, for the Navigator, we had to upgrade some widgets uh, we already had in JS Dialogs. Uh, we improved uh, JSON so it contains more information about the entries. Uh, we can have, we can support now other types of, of content than text. We can have icons or checkboxes and interact with them. On the browser side, we also improve the accessibility because now we can navigate uh, over the tree using the keyboard and uh, yes, and also we, we added annotations so screen readers also uh, interpret cor correctly the entries. Mm. Other new, other new uh, widget is scrolled window, which is used for example in function wizard, uh, where we have some impression of scrolling the uh, different properties, but uh, it, it uh, works differently. We don't scroll anything, but we just react on the uh, scroll bar movement and we change the, the text inside these controls. Now it's also supported in the online, so, so we can use that function wizard using JS dialogs. Mm. Other other uh, new feature is 
custom rendering support for combo box entries. Uh, we use that, for example, for font previews or uh, style style previews in, in the sidebar. So now we can see the rendered fonts in online, not only the uh, name. Uh, apart of improving different widgets and porting dialogues, we did some optimizations. So we are focused on sending less messages and smaller mess messages. So uh, we replace uh, full invalidations of, of some widgets with, with smaller uh, actions. Uh, so JSON is, is in that case very small. It contains just a comment what, what happened. Uh, there were some, some cases where we, sen uh, we sent not needed uh, JSON updates like uh, switching context in, in the sidebar or in tabbed dialogues. dialogues we, uh, we sent JSON for the full dialogue for different uh, tabs, but it, it is enough to, to send that only once. So that was fixed. Uh, we did also some uh, uh, caching for different widgets, uh, which uses the icon view and the and their, the uh, images of of different entries. So we don't have to render the same thing for all the users, but we reuse. Uh, something what we already did in the past. Mm. On the online side, we did some improvements to simplify the layout because previously we generated a lot of containers in containers and we also use uh, CSS grid to better align everything. Uh, the big topic recently was also the accessibility. So now in our JSON, we export also information about relation between label and the widget. So screen reader uh, can read the area properties we add and correctly interpret the different fields in the dialogues. So uh, that, that was improved and also uh, we added uh, more and more keyboard uh, keyboard support for for different widgets. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you.